today we're going to look at the Bren Mag. Um, the cool thing is the Bren Mag is a curved 30 round mag um, and they do function in the FL rifle and we're going to have a look at it how that is and how they function. All right, so um, this is the Bren Mag. It is in 308 Winchester or 7.62 by 51 millimeter NATO. As you as you know, the Brens, the original Bren machine guns, were made in 303. Um, after Second World War, in the late 50s, early 60s, there were, some of them were converted into 308. Um, they saw use in South Africa and Rhodesia. I think some of them also were made in the UK. Predominantly, they were used by the South African Army in the early 60s as a light machine gun because the South Africans didn't have that many um, light machine guns at that time. And it was kind of on hand that they used the old stock of the Bren machine guns and converted them to 308. It's a very cumbersome process to convert them into 308. So um, it took them quite some time to make them. They had to hand fit literally everything, barrel, bolt, and whatever to remake it. And it also made these 308 uh, magazines for um, the Bren machine gun. Now these fit the inch pattern rifles. So inch pattern L1A1 or SLRs, they fit. However, they do not fit the metric FNs. So what many Rhodesians and South Africans did was to file down the front part, the locking lug, so that it's smaller and that will fit into the metric FNs. And the most combat use of these mags were seen in Rhodesia and in South Africa. Um, the reports, or the reliability reports, were rather mixed. Um, some say these were awesome and they held up their value and they were a great addition to their combat loadout of 20 round mags. Others say they were other junk. Um, the biggest issue that they faced was a spring. As you can see on this picture, the spring looks like a harmonica and is a mini weak point. <laughs> accordion. <laughs> it's a f accordion. The harmonica they looks like an accordion. <laughs> there we go. Um, so as you can see on this picture, it looks like an accordion and they have the weak spots at the end. And that's where, um, where the springs tend to break. So they, they usually had to have some replacement springs on hand. Um, as I know, um, some friends of mine that fought in Rhodesia that used these mags, they say that the armor who issued out these mags usually had like, a bunch of these springs on hand just in case they break. Um, again, they were not that popular because the reliability reports were mixed. All right, we have five rounds in the mag. We're gonna cycle it through this rifle. And we're gonna see that we'll um, lock the bolt to the rear and it will work flawlessly. By the way, this is my 16 inch DSA SA58 Congo version um, rifle. It's pretty slick. Five rounds, bolt locks to the rear, cycles without any issues. Pretty cool. Um, as you can see with this one, it works on this rifle. Um, it is, what you say, quite unique because if you compare it to a um, a standard 30 round mag, it is curved. And as we all know, that curved mags just look cooler. And we also know that looking cool is winning half the battle. So if you ever find one of these mags that are converted for the metric FNs, go buy them. You're not going to regret them. They're really cool. Um, I usually carry some of them every couple months in my store. Um, I convert them myself and ensure they're going to fit the metric FNs. I'm going to test them out. Um, I don't know when I'm going to get the next shipment of these mags, but I will keep you all posted. All right. I hope you enjoy this short video on the Bren mag. Um, yeah. So um, again, I apologize for a long delay of not having a video and I will be uploading a video real soon about some other FN stuff. Um, so yeah. Thank you very much, enjoy your day, and do sins.